When we think of rodents, small animals come to mind. But the biggest rodent ever was the size of a buffalo and used its teeth like an elephant. A huge rodent called Joseph Ortegasia manisi thrived in South America about 3 million years ago. It was around the size of a buffalo. It was similar to a capybara, but on steroids. While most rodents today nibble on tough plant material with their distinctive incisors, Joseph Ortegasia may have had another function for them. It was first described by paleontologists Andres Renderknecht and R. Ernesto Blanco in 2008. Joseph Ortegasia is only known from a 1.7-foot-long skull found in the 4 to 2 million-year-old rock of Uruguay. That one skull was enough to know that the mammal was new to science and the title holder for biggest rodent of all time. And big it most certainly was. Joseph Ortegasia Manisi is estimated to have weighed roughly 2,600 pounds or 1,100 and 79.34 kilograms on average, perhaps reaching up to 5,700 pounds or 2,585 kilograms. It lived alongside terror birds, saber-toothed cats, giant sloths, and massive armored mammals in its habitat. Until Joseph Ortegasia Manisi was discovered, the largest known fossil rodent was Phoberomys, which might have weighed between 900 and 1,500 pounds when alive. In comparison, the largest rodent alive today, the capybara of South America, weighs about 130 pounds. Researchers from the University of York and the Hall York Medical School investigated the bite strength of Joseph Ortegasia Manisi. Using computer modeling, they were able to create a virtual replica of its skull and found out that it could produce a lot of force with each bite, around 1,400 newtons, which is similar to a tiger's. However, they also found that the rodents' incisors could withstand almost three times that force, which means the giants weren't using their teeth just to bite. Dr. Philip Cox, who was involved in the study, suggests that the teeth's ability to handle such amounts of stress is evidence that these animals could have been using their teeth as tusks in the same way boars and elephants use theirs today. Those modern tusked animals can use their enlarged teeth for a variety of purposes, such as digging for food, opening paths through vegetation, stripping the bark from trees, and defending themselves from predators, activities that require the tusks to be very strong. It is likely that the record-breaker Joseph Ortegasia behaved in a similar way. Joseph Ortegasia Manisi had massive front teeth, Yet, despite their fearsome appearance, they were herbivorous and may have eaten soft vegetation. However, they were capable of biting through really tough materials. This rodent's small molars and premolars were not good enough for grass and other types of abrasive vegetation. Hence, its diet would have consisted predominantly of soft aquatic plants and fruits. Also, since it was large, it would have been able to digest low-quality food sources such as roots and wood that smaller mammals would have been unable to digest. The environment at the time of Joseph Ortegasia Manisi was most likely an estuarine or deltaic system with forest communities. This animal thrived in South America for millions of years, only disappearing around 12,000 years ago. And thus the question remains, why is Joseph Ortegasia Manisi not with us today. The timing of Joseph Ortegasia Manisi's extinction coincides with the end of the last ice age, so changes in climatic conditions may have contributed to the decline of this species. Competition from invasive species that migrated into South America from North America may have also led to their extinction. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.